<laughs> Hi everybody, and welcome back. We're going to be reading another classic book. Now, I remember a song, Hi Diddly Dee, Enact This Life From Me. And that movie is based off a book called Pinocchio and His Puppet Show Adventure. Making all his little funny faces. I wonder what kind of adventures he gets into. Pinocchio and His Puppet Show Adventure. There was once a kind old man named Geppetto. He lived in a little house with his goldfish, Cleo, and his cat, Figaro. Another friend, Jiminy Cricket, lived in the house too. Geppetto could make wonderful things out of wood. One day he made a puppet that looked just like a boy. He called the puppet Pinocchio. A good fairy heard Geppetto's wish. That night she came to his house when everyone was sleeping. She touched Pinocchio with her wand. Suddenly the little wooden puppet came to life. And what did Pinocchio do first? He tried to take Cleo out of the goldfish bowl. No, no, Pinocchio cried Jiminy Cricket. Put that fish right back. You see Pinocchio trying to take the fish out of the fish bowl. <laughs> That's funny. The noise woke up Geppetto. He could not believe his eyes. There was his wooden puppet singing and dancing. Quite merrily too. The old man was so happy. He hugged Pinocchio. My son, he said, my own little wooden son. Geppetto wanted to cook breakfast for Pinocchio, but there was nothing to eat. Let me go out and buy some food, father, said Pinocchio. My, my, what a good boy you are, said Geppetto. The old man gave Pinocchio some money and a list of things to buy. Jiminy Cricket was not so sure that Pinocchio was a good boy. I will just follow him and see, he said to himself. You see Jiminy Cricket decide he's gonna follow Pinocchio. And you see the sign right there? It says Geppetto Woodcarver. See all these people standing out in the streets. Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. And I see someone over here looking at them. Pinocchio walked happily down the street. He smiled at everyone. Everyone smiled at him. It was fun to be out in the big world by himself. A boy named Lampwick was also out by himself. Lampwick was not a good boy. He told stories that were not true. He even stole things. When Lampwick saw Pinocchio, he said, Aha, I bet I can trick that wooden head. I knew he was looking at him for some reason. Hi, friend, said Lampwick. What do you have there? Money, said Pinocchio. I'm going to buy food. Why not buy candy, said Lampwick. It tastes better. No, no, Pinocchio. Don't listen, called Jiminy. Pinocchio paid no attention. He followed Lampwick to the candy store. Where did you get so much money? Asked the lady in the candy store. My father gave it to me, said Pinocchio. To buy candy? Asked the lady. Yes, to buy candy. This was not true. Suddenly, Pinocchio's nose started to grow longer. He took his candy out of the store as fast as he could. Let me hold the bag, said Lampwick. It'll be safer with me. I'm bigger. Pinocchio held up the bag of candy. To his surprise, Lampwick grabbed it and ran away. That was the end of the candy. You see how he's running away with the candy? What happened, asked Jiminy. Where is all your father's money? I lost it, said Pinocchio. Right away, his nose grew still longer. You did not lose the money, said Jiminy. You used it for candy. Well, at least take what is left and buy a little food for Geppetto. 
As he walked toward home, Pinocchio held the bag of food in front of his face. He did not want anyone to see his long nose. A sly old fox and a thin hungry cat were hiding by a bridge. Look at that little wooden head, said the hungry cat. He has a sack of food. Hello, my fine lad, said the fox. You look just like the sort of boy who might want to see a puppet show. A puppet show? cried Pinocchio. Oh yes, I certainly would. How can I get in? I have a ticket, said the fox. If you give us your food, I will give you my ticket. That is your sack of food, isn't it? Oh yes, said Pinocchio. Another lie. His nose grew longer yet, but he didn't care. He had his ticket. A line of people were waiting to get into the puppet show. They got mad at Pinocchio when he bumped them with his long nose. Better not tell any more lies, said Jimmy Cricket. You already have too much nose for a puppet your size. You see him there standing with his big long nose, poking people as he's walking through the crowd. Poke, 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 poke. Step up, step up, called the man waiting at the ticket stand. Pinocchio stepped up. He gave the man his ticket. This is no ticket, said the man. It's just a piece of paper. Go away, little boy, and take your long nose with you. Uh-oh. Poor Pinocchio. He had no money, no food, no ticket. He sat down on a box and began to cry. Poor Pinocchio. Just then a man peeked out of the tent. The man was Stramboli, the puppet master. My, my, said Stramboli. A puppet without any strings. Can you do anything but cry, little puppet? I can dance and sing, said Pinocchio. Show me, said Stramboli. Pinocchio danced. He sang. He turned cartwheels. He even stood on his head. Wow, I didn't know Pinocchio could do that much stuff. Then Stramboli showed his puppets to Pinocchio. He pulled their strings and puppets kicked their feet. You don't need any strings, said Stramboli. Come with us. You will be the star of our show. Don't listen, Pinocchio. Go home to Geppetto, said Jiminy. But Pinocchio did not want to go home. He wanted to be a star. The show started and Pinocchio began to dance. Look, no strings, he called. Everybody cheered. Do you know the Pinocchio song? I got no strings to hold me up. <laughs> but the other puppets had strings. Pinocchio's long nose got caught in the strings. He crashed to the floor. Everybody started to laugh. <laughs> Suddenly, Pinocchio was unhappy. He did not like to have people laugh at him. I am not such a great star after all, he said. I want to go home to Geppetto. Oh no, you are not going home, said Stramboli. You belong to me now. This birdcage will be your home, my little long-nosed friend. Help, called Pinocchio from the inside of his cage. Let me out. But the puppets could not help. They could not move unless someone pulled their strings. Jimmy could not help either. He was too small but he could get help. Jiminy ran quickly to Geppetto's house. Geppetto, he called. You must come to save Pinocchio. Stramboli, the puppet master, has put him in a cage. My poor little Pinocchio in a cage, said Geppetto. The old man followed Jiminy down the dark street. He was carrying a lantern in one hand. Do you see him walking down the street there, in the dark, looking for Pinocchio? They found Pinocchio's cage in Stromboli's tent. Don't worry, my son, said Geppetto. I will help you. He opened the cage and lifted Pinocchio out. Suddenly, Stromboli came running. Thief! he called. That is my puppet! Run, Pinocchio! shouted Geppetto. Pinocchio ran. Geppetto ran too, but the old man did not see the open trunk he fell into. Aha! Now I have you, shouted Stramboli in a terrible voice.
I will save you, father, called Pinocchio. Quickly, he went up a ladder to the place where the puppets were hanging. You see Pinocchio there trying to save his father coming up the ladder? Pinocchio dropped the puppets, strings and all, onto Stromboli. The puppet master could not move. Geppetto was safe. My good, brave Pinocchio, said Geppetto, and he hugged his little son. Fast as they could, Geppetto, Pinocchio, and Jiminy ran off towards home. See, after they got back together, they all ran back home. As soon as they were safe home, Geppetto took a look at Pinocchio. What has happened to your nose? He cried. Tell him the truth now, said Jiminy. This time, Pinocchio did tell the truth. He told Geppetto about everything, just as it had happened. While he talked, his nose got shorter and shorter. Finally, it was just the way Geppetto had made it. Never again, Pinocchio decided, would he tell a lie? Never again. And you see, his nose got smaller. And then him deciding that he's going to do good from now on and not just lie. And that's the end of this story. I hope you learned a lesson about this story about Pinocchio. Just like I did. Because I learned that good things happen and things work out the way they're supposed to when you tell the truth instead of lying this has been walt disney's pinocchio and his puppet show adventures i hope you enjoyed the story make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video bye